from pickandlasses.com Kid on the Mountain this is a great tune to pick uh, here on the five string banjo we're in standard tuning we're in the key of E minor we're in 9-8 time it's a slip jig in a moment we're going to take a look at part A of the tune here in this video there are five parts of the tune if you head to pickandlasses.com you'll grab yourself a copy of the chart all the sections are there uh, and we'll break down the remainder of the sections there in the members section so pickandlasses.com okay let's start out with this part A slow playthrough, then we'll break down and start to look at some of the techniques we're using, single string and melodic techniques featured throughout this tune. One and a, two and a, three and a. Okay, so there's part A, four measures. Each section of this tune is four measures, four bars. Uh, we repeat those twice to give us the eight for the entire tune. So it's quite long, even though each section is quite short because of the five parts. Now, we are in nine eight time. So nine eight time, similar to six eight, we have three eighth notes per beat, essentially. So each beat is worth a dotted quarter note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So essentially we're feeling three beats, but three beats is broken into three eighths. So first measure as an example, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how we're going to count and feel it. It makes the right hand challenging how we need to pick that. Uh, we also want to make sure we're emphasizing each beat as we play our way through. So we'll talk about that as we work on the tune. So nine, eight time, slip jig. We're in the key of E minor. Banjo tuning is in standard tuning. Nothing changes. E minor works great in open G. Okay, so we have a mixture of single string technique and a bit of melodic. All depends on what the melody is doing. So this first opening measure is single string. Depending on what's happening with the notes and where they're moving, sometimes we're approaching the single string with thumb, index, thumb. And then we kind of want to emphasize each beat. So on the fourth string, what we're doing for the first two beats of the measure is thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. Our thumb doubles up there on the linking of the beats. So thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. It's gonna help us present that pulse in our playing. So there's our first two beats. One, two. Thumb is dominating that, particularly on the first part of the beat on the pulse. When we change to the third beat within this measure though, because the melody moves to the third string, we'll pick that with the index finger. It makes sense for the right hand. So here, and that's a quarter note, so we're gonna hold that longer than the eighth. So three and up, three and up. So twice as long as the eighth notes. Let's piece that first bar together just to start to get a feel of what we're doing here. So thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb. That's for the right hand. Left hand's pretty straightforward. It is marked in the tablature though if you need to check it out. So first measure, two and a, three and a. One more time, three and a. Cool, now if you're new to single string, just the thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, just alternating where we are there in the music. The right hand is marked in the tablature, and because of this slip jig time, it is quite awkward. So this tune is more advanced. It's not for the complete beginner, it's more advanced. It's certainly more advanced. So do just be aware it's a tricky tune to play, particularly for the right hand. The slip jig time signature makes it even more awkward as well. 
Uh, moving on, moving on to measure two. Starts out with single string, we move into a little bit of melodic. So we have this one and a two and a three and a. Now, in those melodic sections, it makes sense to use our fingers, middle index uh, thumb, middle index thumb. Single string portion, same as before, thumb, index, thumb. So first three, thumb, index, thumb. Next three for the next beat. We're moving up the neck here. First finger, third finger on those frets, middle index, thumb. First two beats, ready and ah. Uh. One more time and. Third beat. Same right hand roll, middle index thumb, different melody notes, open B, open G, F sharp. So, second measure, ready and up. One more time. So at this tempo, you can really feel the eighth notes. Emphasizing the pulse though is important. So remember we have three beats per measure. So try to feel that. We'll put the first two measures together as an exercise here. First two measures, we're gonna count the pulse this time rather than each eighth. So we'll count three rather than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we go. One, two, three. Uh. So feeling the pulse rather than feeling the eighths. Try it again. Two, three, and uh. So as you start to feel that pulse, you really want that in your playing. Just a slightly emphasized note on each of the beats. That's really important. And our thumb being dominant in some of these passages really helps. Of course, when the melody changes into more melodic or a different passage where we're using our finger first, you still want that slight emphasis though, so be mindful of that. Our second half of this now, second half starts out basically the same, except we're climbing up to the A there. So same rhythm as measure one, rather than to the F sharp, we're going to the A, so that's not too bad. Measure three. Using your thumb there on that final note. Now, this last measure, before we hit the repeat, does get played in the other sections as well. Not all of them, but, but uh, certainly part B and E. Now, the way we're gonna play this is, is kind of a mixture of single string, starting on index in this case, simply because of where we're, we're starting on the B string on the second string there. So index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. As we get to the lower notes, we're gonna emphasize that pulse with our thumb as much as we can. It certainly really helps with the feel of the music. But when we're on that second string to kick it off, it makes sense to use the finger there. It's, it's more comfortable for the right hand. So we start out with that index, thumb, index, just alternating, index, thumb, index, over the two strings. Then we go to the thumb, index, thumb, for beat two, so thumb, index, thumb, then thumb again, as you go single string on uh, string four, the D string. So, try it with me. Ready and ah. Uh. One more time and. There we go. Uh, let's just play through slowly the four measures. Take your time, sit down and get to know it, but let's just run that once. Three and ah. Uh. So play that through twice. There's part A of this awesome tune to pick, Kid on the Mountain. Uh, head over to pickinglessons.com. You'll be able to grab yourself this chart, the tablet we've been working through, but also we'll break down all the other sections, so the other four parts of this tune in the same ways we've done here. So we'll, we'll look at the technique needed, look at our fingering, and kind of have a little bit of a practice and work on some exercises. You'll also have a backing track and a play-along track to download there as well, all in that member section. So pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.